your people have plans to settle here? You seem easily affected by the cold. Uh... I'd live here, but then I could probably live anywhere. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda on the lovely planet Vault. Where, uh, well, the weather is very... no, no. No, it's not very nice. It's it's actually very terrible because there's a blizzard raging all around. But we're uh, right where we need to be to access another remnant of vault. But of course, so we're looking for. that means Find some tech for PB. yeah, that means this gu these guys. Can I run them over? I think I can. Gonna have to be careful about their health. But there we go. Just gonna loop around a bit and get my shields back. Which actually works, apparently. Backing up! I'm gonna run around and then we'll start firing from uh, this angle. I'm almost out of ammo, apparently. There we go, there goes the most dangerous one. There we go. That pistol was probably the best investment I've done so far. Oh shit, oh shit, that's what, that was not what I intended to do. There we go, got my shields back, and now I need, really need some ammo. I think there's ammo in the middle over there. Oh shit. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Thank you. Oh shit. And there goes the last one. Yeah, I don't think you are, but you guys did pretty good. That was actually really, really good. Let's reload the raptor and check out the relic over here. Um, oh, there we go. Another hundred research data. Just gonna take a look around because wait what what I kind of beeped what oh, haven't I scanned no I scanned drag already what is this there's something over here why is this highlighted what the hell <sighs> So these things are here when I scan, but not when I... What the hell is this? That is weird. Get me up there and I'll take those bastards myself. If there's any way we can help the Angara deal with the cat, we're going to do it. We haven't been able to take down any of their defenses. Many lives were lost trying. Yeah. There it is. I kind of missed that one because I couldn't complete the puzzle, so I'm going to do that just in a second. There we go. Completed it fairly easily. Speak with PB in the Tempest Escape Pod. There we go. Okay, so that's another, rim tech PB needs. another task uh, done. Rim tech? PB's term. Anytime we come across ruins like this, let's ground what we can. I'll deliver this piece and hopefully find out what her secret project is. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. So next up, I think I'm not gonna go to the Tempest right away. I think we need to assault that thing eventually as well. But let me check the quest log. Let's check the interference source because we need to uh, clear out the interference that's on the Angara's communication here as well. And I'll get back to you in a second when I get close to whatever is causing the uh, interference. By the way, I also have another question for you guys. I know it's pretty hard to make a series in open world games like this one. Uh, because, well, it's hard to keep focus on what you're doing and staying on the track with the quest. That's the reason why I cut out so much of the travel time. 
Uh, I'm just gonna stop it right here for a second. Stop it right here for a second. And I was wondering if you guys think I'm doing this okay. So I'm kind of skipping through combat scenarios because I feel like that would get stale fast and just focus on where the story is going, where the events unfold. But if that's um, the wrong way of doing it, according to you guys, just let me know in the comments and I'll uh, see what I can do to change that. I'm just, I'm just trying to make the best content I can so you guys can uh, enjoy it with me. And in the meantime, we actually got where we need to be. Don't know why my environmental suit hasn't recovered yet, but what is this? This is the source of that interference? Looks like a meteorite. The interference is caused by the EM radiation it's emitting. I detect that. Detect later, Adi. What the? Oh, I want to scan one of those. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. That's one. Move away far enough and they lose interest. Might be drawing the RD as well as driving them into a frenzy. Okay then. Let's check these out. Renderable plates. Huh. How do we shut it off? Perhaps the scan will tell us more, Pathfinder. Okay. Did I actually scan one of these guys now? I think I did. I'm just gonna quickly head into the nomad again. Because I feel as though my suit's environmental protection stuff. No, no, never mind. I'm wrong about that. I thought it would reset to the closest uh, bit, but apparently life support isn't given to me again. I'm um, just gonna get my ammo back and then scan it. Pathfinder, I can modify your Omni tool to dampen the signal. Oh, uh, okay then. Because I'm almost out of life support, and why is this taking so long? Oh God. I'm gonna have to stop that. I'm gonna get into the nomad because just run all of them over. Because they can't seem to really damage me while I'm in inside of the nomad. Although I don't seem to kill them either. Oh, that was a kill. And dead. That's another one down. Bloosh! And then I think I should get out. There we go. That's it. Good work. Now let's dampen it again. And now it goes faster. That is interesting. So it was just slower to uh gotta call this a scourge, Jim. They pass through the scourge and pick up something of its nature. No two are exactly alike. Some of them are quite beautiful and quite dangerous. I suggest we return it to the Nexus for analysis. We could learn more about the scourge. Sounds like an idea, yeah, why not? Although that might be dangerous indeed, but I agree. True. Disrupting comms, driving wildlife into a frenzy. There's too much here to ignore. We need to study it. Hopefully the Hajara scientists won't have any more trouble with our comms. Okay, there we go. Another quest completed. And it's gone. Probably took that with me. I do... I would love another... Uh, another health back. But apparently that's not in the cards for me. So I think that's pretty much it for now on this planet. I'm just gonna quickly head back to the Tempest, which I think I can actually do from over here. There we go. Pathfinder, you have new email. And there we go, back on the Tempest. Um, so we have new email. I think there was an email from Cora, probably linked to her loyalty quests uh, string. So Asari refugees. Ryder, there's a report of Asari refugees on EOS. They made it. Might know about their arc too. Let's talk when you're free. Sounds interesting. 
Turians on Havarl from Kandros. While finally I'm getting reports about Turian sightings on Havarl since it's an Angaran world, I was hoping you could check it out. Apex isn't noted for their diplomatic talents, this needs discretion. Okay then. From Liam, heads up, first thing I did after I figured out who to really talk to, because we all know the ones in charge, they're not on the ground. Jaal had some pointers and I got some names from smaller Angaran colonies. It'll be a while before they trust us, but it's all about exposure. Saw it all the time in crisis response, especially post-combat zones. A low council Verant, if you see any messages from her, it's just me reaching out. Curious Vault Rock from Chief Lucan. This rock you found is certainly something. As far as I can tell, it's a remnant of a meteorite that meteoroid that passed through the scourge before falling to Vault infusing it with a similar charge. The presence of Helios native metallic elements within the rock may have allowed for such a transfer. I'm unsure why the Adhi reacted to it the way they did. I've sorted in a lead line box, it unnerves me. Balanced diet, I'm gonna ignore that. Communication from Jaal. I've heard privately from Evra, the leader of our resistance. He's very impressed that we were able to help the op squad on Vult and I've made sure that he knows that you played a key role. Maybe he's already said these things to you, but if I know Ephra, he probably hasn't. As for me, I've learned a lot about trust. Being on this team, letting myself be open to trusting you and the others, I've learned that trust is more of a feeling than a science. And it seems like it is a universal truth. Universal. Get it? I'll try to be even more trustful in the future. This assignment might change my life. Good night. Jal. Thank you, Jal. And then Confidential Vault Intel from Commander Dogzeal. Since your liberation of the labor camp on Vult, some information has come to my attention. For years, the cat ignored our work in the frozen city of Janik. Searching for details of our buried past didn't seem to threaten them. One day, we must have uncovered something that the cat deemed extremely dangerous. They invaded the city, killing or enslaving our archaeology archaeological team and locked it down. Intel from the labor camp seemed to confirm what have, at to this point, only been crazy rumors. There may be an ancient pre scourge AI locked in ice in the depths of the city. This explains the prefect's swift and violent move. I've heard that the cat shun tech like artificial intelligence and they certainly wouldn't want us to have it. Okay then. There's all the emails. So we need to talk to Cora, we need to talk to PB, which we're gonna do first because she's the closest. There we go. Nah, -uh -uh, no peeking. I'm putting the finishing touches on my personal project. I thought you said it was on the Nexus. I'm just perfecting the final component here, or should I say, trying to. Several of the crew have offered to help and I keep politely declining and ushering them out. So thank you for retrieving that critical piece of Remtech, but kindly stop digging. All right, all right, I can't help it. I'm naturally curious, and I'm sure the crew just wants to bond. Curious is good, builds anticipation. I'll leave the bonding to you, not my style. I realize it must be hard being the Pathfinder and not being able to know everything. But there's so much you can do that no one else can. It's safe to say that you, my friend, are one of a kind. Huh, it's true. You've only scratched the surface. You have no idea what all I can do. No, but I have an active imagination. Oh, I look chicka, forward wow, to being wow. educated. Okay, then. But no more distractions. The next time you're on the Nexus, my project will be done. Come by, and I'll unveil it. Sounds now, good. if you will, please leave me to my own devices. I've been wondering, ever since I started this episode, there has been another update to Mass Effect Andromeda, and I kind of feel like... Sarah's face has been changed a bit. She has more makeup than she had before. Which is a weird way to... Uh, well, to update a character model, just add more makeup. That is weird, but hey. Um, next up, I think I'm gonna just go to Korra first. You should have seen it. Perfect drift. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, let's go into here. Did you hear the news from Eos? A sorry refugee showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. Yeah, we should definitely speak to her. We'll head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. 
Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. Yeah, you sure seem a big fan of her. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience, that's all. Oh, she sounded a bit flustered right there. Um, that seems smart. Do we need a strategist? I think we do. I'll take someone with that much experience. Another reason to find the Ark. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Indeed. So, take Korra to speak with Hidaria on Io. Sounds like a plan. Um, but the final thing we... What the hell is that? What the hell? What is this thing? I can scan it. A drawl. Current studies focus on this drawl's cranial structure and impact force when charging. Okay then. Sounds creepy. That kind of confirms that I can actually scan stuff in the... What the? In the Tempest. What is this? Ghost Framework. I generated this image in my early iterations while learning visual recognition. When Cora saw it, she believed it had artistic merit, and Alec Ryder gave her this copy as a gift. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, Cora. And then we should talk to... Maybe check this thing out as well. Collect all rewards. There we go. More minerals for me. Ooh, a lot of aluminum. Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. And I have pending vid goals, apparently. There we go. I just leveled everybody up as well because we had a few more points. So let's see the vidcon. Evra. There we go. Let's call Evra. Commander. Pathfinder, Joel's been keeping me updated on your adventures, your good deeds on our behalf. I meant them. I want you to know you can trust me. You rescued Shavat Khan. His loss would have been hard for the Resistance. But your true agenda is clear. To explore Arya's vault. Jarl says you want to help find the Moshai. Why should I let you? Um, I get shit done or I keep my word. Hmm. I keep my word, yeah, because we've proven that. The other option doesn't really tell him anything. I'd like this to be the beginning of a strong relationship. Keep your promises and little by little our bond might grow. Might. We've managed to trace the Moshai to a special cat facility on Vold. Why special? These facilities are protected by a dynamic shield tech we haven't been able to crack. We're close, but its ability to adapt outstrips the speed of our current processors. Pathfinder, adding my processor to that program would no doubt make the difference. Ephra, hmm. I can help. Respectfully, this time you need my help. Respectfully, the Angara don't need anything from you. We take care of our own. Do we tell him about the AI or not? I feel that the Angaran people are, well, more open to AI than anybody else, so... With the processing power of my AI, I can guarantee the shield breach. AI? Of course, that makes sense. There we go. He's physically connected to me, so I need to... Well, I want to go. It was risky to be honest about your AI. And honesty makes you different from the cat. Yes. I hope so. You're welcome on the mission. Logic. Logic the wins. We'll meet you at our base on Vold. They'll take you to the cat facility. Stay strong and clear. Goodbye. Thank you, Evra. So that was kind of cool. That was one of the first decisions where you really had to think about what you said. Because, yeah... We already know that the Angarn uh, are a bit easier on AI than anybody else we know. So that was a, a good call, if I so, do say so myself. Um, we have a few things to do. Just quickly gonna check out the research center, so give me a second. There we go, I made the Pathfinder helmet, which is really, really cool. And then I think I'm gonna take a little break before we head out again. And I think we're gonna go to EOS first. Ben. I'll lend you 30 okay, never mind. Me back by tomorrow. So uh, Duh, when we get back, we'll head back to EOS and see if we can talk to uh, the Asari over there. But before that, I'd like to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give the thought to subscribe to my channel. Because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. 
So thanks again, enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.